On my blog this week, I've posted a number of photographs from a woodland that I've recently discovered, but I've decided not to share the location information. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the reasons why and ask you the question, is that the right thing to do? Ever since starting my blog and this YouTube channel, I've always said the locations of where my pictures are taken. I think it's useful information to other photographers. And to be honest, most of the time, I'm photographing locations that have been photographed many, many times before. I never find some secret or hidden location. Now, just because it's been photographed many times before doesn't make my photograph any less valuable. It's unique to me and the circumstances and the conditions that were there when I took that photograph. So it's all, always unique. But generally speaking, I'm not going to some remote hidden location that someone's not heard of before or isn't widely known. Now, I lo love sharing this information. So actually at the beginning of the uh, year it was, beginning of 2021, I created my free locations map. So you can anyone can go along to that, sign up to that, and you'll see a map of all the places that have been with links to all the blog articles and you can have a look at the pictures and you can see where to go. I'm happy to share that information. Some photographers, on the other hand, they won't share their locations or they'll only share them every now and again. And sometimes I agree with that and sometimes I don't. Some of the reasons are a little bit odd. You know, some photographers don't like sharing their location information because they feel that if you're going to go there and take a picture, you somehow have to work for it. So you should be going out there and discovering that location for yourself or discovering your own location. Or perhaps sometimes there may be a little bit of fear there. Perhaps you think a photographer will go there and, and, and take a better image than they will, or somehow it will make their photograph a bit less unique. But none of those reasons apply to why I won't share the location of this woodland location. I should probably put this video or more specifically this location in a bit more context now, just so you've got a better idea why I don't want to share where this particular woodland is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the photographs that I captured on that recent visit. I hope you enjoyed those photographs. Just a quick technical note, you would have read that all those photographs were captured using my new Nikon ZFC and its kit lens, all handheld. This is because I actually didn't go out really with the purpose of taking photographs the morning that I took those woodland pictures. It just happened to be that that was a camera that was in my bag. That's gonna be my kind of walkabout camera. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the image quality. It's, it's, it's great to have that kind of quality of camera that I can just put in the bag. But if you wanna know more about my thoughts about that camera, I'll include a link for my video review at the end screen of this video and in the corner of the screen. Okay, let's discuss the reasons why I'm not sharing the location of this particular woodland. Recently, I've become a lot more aware of the impact my photography has on the environment. In fact, a few weeks ago, I published a video where uh, I talked about these these issues, you know, there was a location I went to visit that had been closed off due to the environmental impact caused by visitors, not just photographers, just people in, in general. And also there's been some recent press around Wood on Dartmoor, which has suffered uh, quite a bit of environmental damage, again, through just people visiting there, not being careful, for example. And those woodlands, they're very fragile, you know, they're ancient woodlands, so, you know, they are unique and they need to be looked after. And this kind of woodland that I've stumbled across, I think is in a, in a similar position. It's not a secret location. It's not, you know, it's not hidden. You can find it's on a map. You can see it on the, on the OS map. So I haven't discovered this kind of secret location and I'm trying to guard it for myself. I'm really trying to just trying to protect the environment. I don't want it to become, I don't want it to become the next Wisman's Wood by putting a big flag in and say, look at these pictures. Again, you know, I say, I say, look at these pictures. I'm not so, you know, 
amazed. I think just because you'll see that picture, suddenly that everyone will want to go to that location. I'm not, I'm not thinking that, but I just don't want to highlight this location any more than it already is. I mean, there are some pictures about it uh, on social media and the, and the photo platforms, but it's not that well photographed. So I don't want to be, be responsible necessarily for sticking the red flag in it and, and, and for it to become the next Westman's Wood. It's a lot harder to get to, so <laughs> the location would probably put some people off. So for me, it's, it's really about preserving that fragile environment, those ancient woodlands, which are you know unique. And they are fragile, as we've seen with, with Westman's Wood, they can get damaged. And as I was walking about that particular woodland location, I was very, very aware of where I was walking and what I was touching. I was really conscientious about, my, is my mere presence here taking photographs damaging this environment. So I was really careful about where I was standing, what I was touching, what I was putting my hand on. I tried to be as careful as I possibly could. Now these are open woodlands, you can go and visit. This, you know, I haven't climbed over any fences and stuff like that. And there's a sign at the, the entrance of the, of the woodland that you can see it gives you information about it. So I haven't done anything dodgy, but I was quite aware of where I was, I was standing. So the reasons I'm not going to share this location is because I want to preserve the environment and I don't want to stick a big red flag in it and for it to become the next Westman's Wood. I am genuinely interested to know what your thoughts are on this topic. Am I right in this instance not to share that information? What are your thoughts on sharing location information in general? Should people not do it? Is it up to the photographer? Is it up to the photographer based on what that location is? Do you share your information or do you mind people asking you where photographs are taken? I'm really interested to know what people think on this topic. So if you've got some time, please do leave me a comment below. I will try and read and reply to everyone's comments. Right, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully that wasn't too much of a contentious issue. Hopefully you've left some really interesting and thought-provoking comments. Um, if you've got an extra few minutes, there's some associated videos I'm popping up in the corners of the screen just now. Hope you've got time to check those out. But until the next video, I'll see you then.